Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Seventh Saga for the Super Nintendo. I'm your host, the Game of Darius, and last we left off, I had found this cave. This cave? You know what? I don't even know why I'm going to bother with the uh, MP right there. So, this is a cave. It is a nice cave, isn't it? Look at this cave. It's a beautiful little cave. I think this is the cave that I'm thinking of. If not, maybe it's um. I was about to say, maybe I'm not as in much trouble as I thought I am. I say as a spider immediately dodges my first attack. This video is starting off good, isn't it? Yes, it's starting off fantastic. By the way, I have been trying to fiddle around with my freaking video settings. I don't know what it is. It's like one time it's too bright, another time it's too dark, and looks nothing like how it looks on my screen. With an ice one doing damage damage, I suppose I got enough time to use a sky rune. Yeah. Especially if he's gonna keep on using unsuccessful MP and H HP cap MP and HP cashers. One of those times, one of those is gonna work, and it's gonna be the worst possible time possible. P mean. I'm going to assume the P means poison. I'm also going to assume that whatever is down here is going to kill me. Nope. Magic Seed. I the Eye Seed increases one's ma oh, excuse me, magic power. So the MC just increases magic? The stat? That's what I'm going to assume. It's kind of annoying to assume that. Especially with these bastards keep on doing like 50 damage. And running away. Still, if I could level up a few times while I'm here, that'd be great. I know I'm not. Maybe once. <laughs> uh, how does Darius shut himself up? Looking at his actual stats. Harp. Cool. Just in case someone decides to outright try to kill me with a vacuum spell. Is there nothing but poison moons in here? I'm going to assume there's nothing else but poison moons in this place and hit everything with a blizzard. Ah, blizzard. How you are both useful and... Uh, okay. For half a second, I thought I was definitely dead. But that is why man invented the potion. Three. Screw dying today. If I could dodge all of these, that would be great. Okay. Poison moves can go to hell. That's gonna definitely level me up now. <laughs> wow, 7 HP and MP. Magic 3 and. Speed 4, that's a pretty damn good level. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright. Uh, Topaz. Actually, I fear that one of these guys might be a trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those. Yeah. Okay, so 40 MP from the M Herb 2. I thought it was, I don't know, 60. I know that full would have been from a 3. But I don't think they're on this continent. If you hear me constantly adjusting myself in my chair, it's because this chair is incredibly uncomfortable. Really should get a pillow for it. I'll worry about a pillow later. Another harp. It's like they're just telling me, hey, you're probably gonna die by vacuum. I'd really rather not. Mm, more of these spiders. It might honestly just be cheaper to just use Ice 1 until they all die, but... Yeah, nah. I'm one who likes to spread out the damage as much as possible. And apparently get damage as much as possible. If I kill only one... Then the other one may still kill me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm just digging the battle music right now. Don't mind me. Doing a little dancing. Ice one. There we go. I like it when things only die on one hit. I'm just also wondering what the hell there is in here, because I've literally encountered nothing but poison moons. Thought there was at least something else in here. Huh. Makes a makes a man leery, you see. Doesn't make a man Dennis leery. I don't got that much expletives inside me. Up. Oh. The pain is unbearable. It starts. The worst part for any spellcaster. The worst part for any spellcaster. For, you see, now I can't use spells. So I pretty much have to rely purely on Esna being a badass in melee combat. Which, okay, the, the Griffins are a bad example of her being a badass in melee combat. That's, no, no, she is, no, don't even think it. Maybe later on when I get another weapon that's like the last weapon for Esna to wield, sure. But you know what? No, she is not a, ba she is not a badass in melee combat. No, oh, she's poisoned right now. Yeah, I can't use any magic. I can't use my antidotes, or my remedy spell, rather, to heal myself. I can't use my heal spell to heal myself. All of it relies on me being able to take this character who probably is more of the equivalent of a warrior character from this game at half her level. I know what I'm trying to say. She is the equivalent of a character half her level as a melee warrior right now. That's what I'm trying to say. And she is in an area full of things that want her super dead. So, yeah. This town is Begast. Begask. Begask. That's a weird name for it. And of course, it's covered in snow. So much snow. Is there even anything here in Begask? I seem to recall nothing. Oh, by the way, uh, last time I was in. Let me, you look here. Let me take a look at you. Mm, mm, ah, ah, oh, I see. Mm, looks like you are being cursed, and that's why you can't use magic. Do you have any idea who might have done this to you? I wonder if the people of Guanta have anything to do with this. Go to the village of Guanta and see what happens. Yeah, Guanta. Can we walk all the way to Guanta? Anyways, so Valenza, the only hidden item that is there is a bottle of ice. I kind of want to say that I don't need it, but at the same time, I was just silenced. Something is very wrong if the monsters can spread all over like this. I mean, all over where? Are we just generalizing everywhere, or what? Probably just generalizing. The people of Guanta still remember many of the old legends. Go and visit the village. Seeing as I probably have nowhere else I can go. Well, there's the house of healing. Right at the moment, uh, would be a very bad time for one of the other princesses to show up. Especially, you know what, just literally any of them. It would be a bad time for any of the other princesses to show up. Already bought that. Ooh! And increase my defense power by 10. Only 1500. I got that. I got 1500 down pat. Let's go with two sapphires and one of the rubies. I could have just sold the emerald, but eh. Ruby. I'm I'm really kind of waiting for anything and anything that could go wrong. Money-wise. Thank you. Corinne is now encrypted. As, as one of... I think that's like the biggest defense boost that I can possibly get at this moment. 
barring, you know, finding another accessory that also increases my defense an ungodly amount. Well, I think I'm just gonna grab a couple of potion too, seeing as I used a couple. Hit the inn, and then I gotta start my pilgrimage up to this town called Guanta. Actually, might as well talk to the other schmucks. This air frozen. I've never seen this much snow around here in my life. Really? I've seen more snow where I've lived. Just saying. It's not that much snow to worry about. Four gold. Man, your accommodations must suck if you... <laughs> if you are spending... Eh. You are having me spend less than Valencia. You look real. Go and see the old woman called Tonoka. Okay, see, here's the thing. You tell me the woman's name. Come back here, I'm talking to you. You tell me the woman's name, but then you don't give me any actual directions. Unless someone else was supposed to give me those directions. Screw you. So now we have to find this town called Guanta. And we also have to live through everything that's in the way. Star Rune was the one to increase my defense, right? Right. I mean, that helps absolutely none when it comes to defending against magic. This... Ain't gonna lie, this might end up being most of this episode, just me... Powering up... Hoping I don't die to spell casting. And, uh, yeah. Hoping that these swords don't kill me, too. Swords actually have a really high defense, which is why we're doing only one damage to them without critical hitting. Still don't know why he's insistent on trying to petrify me. Mostly just to bring his own demise. Another tranquil sword. Yes, just give me the worst, the worst sword in the entire game. I, I shall train myself in the sword at this point. I must train myself with the sword at this point. Damn it. I completely forgot that I should use these. Mm. Yep, that hurts a lot. And this is where I, I again point out my desire that this game had a organization system. Ah, well. Good. Can't magic stop trying to... Oh, this one. Haha, -ha, you missed. You ain't bringing doom down upon me today, doom. Yet. Something else will come around and be all like, haha, -ha, I'm gonna kill you, and then they'll kill me. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Part of me is like, hmm... I wonder if I can continue this entire, the rest of the game as just pure meleeing it, but I doubt it significantly. I should be able to, yeah, that's right. I've been able to kill the Riffins here in only a single defend attack. Okay. So I'm guessing on the other side of the mountain range to my west there is actually just one of the other towns, uh, Valenza. I had been to before. Hmm. Yeah. Ah. That must be Guanta. Please be Guanta. I mean, it looks nice. What do you need in Guanta? Well, one of you pricks decided to remove my magic. So. Remove, remove my removal of magic. Okay. I was about to say, is there some other apprentice here? Also, this lady just charged me 10 gold. There's not a single bed here. Just pointed that out. We slept on the ground for 10 gold. Brr, it's too cold. Can't live like this. Move to California. No joke, it's like hard to find a new place that snows in Cali. Welcome to our store. Oh, you're a store? It doesn't look like you got anything in stock. 
Alright, let's buy some potion threes, seeing as I can't heal three. That should be fine, relatively. And over here, probably not the sage. We have many legends about the fight between Sauro and Gorsia five thousand years ago. Okay, so I know I said this during my last let's play of this, but in the original Japanese, Sauro was actually God and Gorsia was actually Satan. This, that was it. They had switched the names for purposes, I guess. You know, that whole removal of religion in video games during that period of time in the 90s. Yeah, that. Anywho. Weapon shop? Large selection of weapons. Uh, are you sure? Just, uh, drop my attack power by six? God, you guys all suck. I mean, not you. You're pretty good. You, I've already got your equipment. It's just that the rest of you people suck. This is Guanta, right? There is a, okay. There's an old guy. Finally, you are here. Yes, it was I who cursed you. A vision told me you would be a danger to this world. That's why I took your power away. How strange. I don't feel any evil power on you. On the contrary, I feel a good power. I'm confused. Well, since I had the vision, I can't remove the curse. I'm sorry. What? You can't remove the curse. Why? Who must I talk to to remove my curse? Oh, you jackass. Uh, God damn it, I forget how the hell it is that you remove the curse then. Hmm. Well, now I'm irritated. Maybe there's someone else I have to talk to. What do you need in Granta? I thought that your stupid elderly person was going to help. Well, you know who could have the answer for me? Back in brush. Might just be the story. Or story. Fortune teller. Wait, do I have 100 gold? Yes, I do. Last time you seek us on a large content. Ah. Balls. You are the worst fortune teller ever. Well, I guess the only real thing we can do is proceed in a more northerly fashion. Because this is a large continent. And that is my doom. Actually, not being able to use magic is my doom. But, you know. Potato, potato. Comparing my inability to use magic to my literal manifestation of death before me. Yeah. Yeah, bad times are abound. I'm glad he's missing all these times, though. Especially with that HP casher. That was HP, right? I don't know. Games have different color interpretations when it comes to magic and whatnot, so... I always confuse the two when they get cast in this game. I'm gonna take a stab and say that I need to head off to the northeast. And I hope I don't encounter too many things along the way. As much as I do want to level, magic does make things a little bit easier. Especially when your character is based around the whole entire idea of casting this stuff. Oh! That's the rune! the last rune. Am I able to get the last rune? Ooh, this place looks chilly. Eh. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping. Weaving and bobbing through the enemies. Okay. You are a sickly color of I don't want to touch that. Luckily, you don't seem to do that much damage. Didn't work. 
moon room. Yeah, they do 15 to me, 15, 16 some odd damage to me. Ugh. Fuck. Attack. There we go. And you're raising him from the dead. Please don't be an enemy that has, like, revive a billion. So, you guys know how the revive spells and pretty much every spell has a number after it. Revive has roughly a 50% chance of working, I think. Revive 2 has a 75, and I think if there is a revive 3, I think that's the 100% chance one. Which is annoying when they actually have that spell. In the first place. I can't walk that way. I walk this way. I don't think I can walk any of these ways. I think this is all I do think that this is where we also get back my magic. I'm just you are more powerful than a flame, aren't you? You're far more powerful than a flame. Please don't kill me. I'm glad that you don't even hit me, but, you know, next time also don't hit me, slash kill me. I have the defense. I don't have the magic to stop that. Die. Stupid spiders taking so much goddamn damage. I'm getting rid of the spider first. Just to, mm, I don't want to know how much damage that would have done. Stop trying to show me how much damage that would have done. Oh my god, that was a defense attack one, and it only did 140. How are you missing so often, sir? Keep doing it. This game is gonna get me killed. I'm glad that I used that star rune. K-moon? Killer moon? Is that what that means? Also, where the hell do you get the moon name? I'm legit curious what the hell their naming conventions on this game were all about. Oh, sweet Jesus, no. Yes, let's run away, Dar. That is the best time. Best, best way to do things. Best. Come on. Oh, come on. Just run away. Just run away. Winner. <sighs> to say I'm surprised about my death would be a lie. Disappointed still. One moment. <sighs> Alright. So why don't we this time instead head to the west? Because there was that whole... Mm, First, this stupid town and that stupid stupidness. So, anyways, off to the west instead. Ah, I'm actually pretty close to another level. Yeah. Uh. Oh, we can just go directly west. I thought we had to go up and then around a mountain range, but no, just west. Don't got time for doom. I, I really don't have time for doom right now, guy. Could you please sod off? Are you kidding me right now with this? Highest agility in the entire game! Can't run away from a freaking doom! I don't even care if I end up dying right now. Yeah, that sounds about right. Such a good part of the game, guys. Don't you just love it when the mage-centric characters are stripped of all their magic abilities because, you know, that's their one defining freaking feature? <sighs> this is pretty much the part of the game that I was kind of dreading the most about playing as either Valsu or Esna. 
Cause, oh sweet Jesus, no. <laughs> yes, that was a gold colored brain. Anyways, uh, yeah. Like, I don't want to go through an entire dungeon or two without any magic as, you know, the mage-centric character. Cause that'd be stupid. I just, I, I don't want to deal with three griffins. I barely want to deal with one griffin. How did that one catch up to me? Did not look like it completely caught up to me. By the way, fun fact, I kind of always thought that these Wyrock guys were sitting on top of, like, a little book or some shit like that. Like, it was an open book that was floating in front of them or something. Only now am I really realizing it's just kind of their legs sitting pseudo half crisscrossed style. I was not a smart kid. <sighs> Another one? Nope. It was magic. But could you could you blame me for making that assumption? Their entire magic attack is or their entire attack is like pointing a hand up into the air and shooting a little energy bull at me, and they cast a shit ton of spells. <sighs> I'd like to play a character that would not have to worry about their HP all the goddamn time, being out of MP, worrying about a cave of silence that causes you to be no longer valid as a character. Kill me already, holy crap it, come on. Ugh, I'd rather they just kill me than drag on a fight like this. But here we are. Alone, non-combatant mage with shit for weapons and shit for armor. Trying to kill a shit ton of Wyrocks who have constant healing and, revi and reviving and items. Ice spells, I meant to say ice spells. And every time I defend, it's just another reminder of, oh hey, BT dubs. They're probably just gonna revive the next round, anyways. Hey, one of them did something stupid for once. And I gotta waste a turn healing because, god damn, mages. <sighs> Can I get my magic back already? I know we're just essentially trying to prove to some dude who's all... Ah, cursed! Wouldn't doubt if he could actually lift the curse at any particular time and he just finds this more amusing. Screw old people. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to get through this cave? I don't know! Certainly hope so. I would like to imagine that the game designers had decided to make this game somewhat balanced to the point where... <sighs> no. Just no. Why? Why must you hate me, game? Not even game. Person who designed the game. There's a lot of other things you could have done to make this some sort of a relatively decent place to fight in, but no. I ain't gonna fight three sages. I don't wanna fight any of these bastards, not without some form of magic, because hey, that's all these characters good for. Can I even get the mon money, treasure, whatever that's over in this direction? Probably not. You know what I had find amusing when I had looked over though? Was that I don't really recall any of these treasure chests or whatever having any money in them. Gemstones, yes. Plenty of items, yes. But money? No. 
Some of them will have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. Something interesting. Magic water. Oh, you, you know what? This. This would be the perfect time to really piss me off with a mimic or something. By simply just tossing a mimic in and being all like, hey, beat this mimic while, you know, you are a scrub. I'm sorry, is there a way to reach that freaking chest or not? Just, just want to know. No. Come. Just let me leave. Let me leave, you piece of scrap. Let me go. Is this anywhere near chivalrous? I think not. Three on one versus a little mage who has no spells. Maybe, maybe monster knights, I don't know what the hell they're actually supposed to be. Monster knights don't have the concept of chivalry. Maybe I'm just hoping. Isn't this fun? Isn't it fun just kind of being forced to escape from all of your foes? Okay, I guess I can't get to that particular one from this particular direction. <laughs> I mostly just want to get out of this cave before I end the episode, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Because I did a dumb in trying to leave. Ugh. Not trying to leave. What was I doing? I don't got the time for swords. That's the thing that depresses me saying. Don't got the time for swords. Also, why the hell is the sword casting vacuum? Why does the sword have magic like that? <sighs> now, if he had harped himself with that vacuum, totally it stayed behind and done what I could to destroy the other sword. Totally would have. Go away. I don't want to fight you. I barely want to fight anything in here. Although I'm pretty sure I would have leveled up by now. Probably should have. Yeah, I'm always on yeah, fight this thing and possibly die. I mean, I know I could just use the runes, but then that's just like two, two whole rounds of combat of tedium of going. Oh, hey, I use this rune. I use this rune. Now we continue. Shield destroy. Go away. Protect. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good time of use down in the cave. You know what? Screw it. Two freaking swords. I can take them on. Especially if one of them stupidly petrifies himself. Or vacuums themselves, so. One sec. You know, it's honestly a shame. I definitely remember the sword enemy being kind of heinous. But then again, I am playing the hacked version of this ROM, so. For all I know. Oh. Hello. Winner's Grave. Well, that's not foreboding in the slightest whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? Let's just go ahead and call an episode here. When we return. Why is there a winner's grave? Can I get out of here and give up my magic? Who, who the hell put this grave here? All these questions and probably more to come on the next episode of Seven Song. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.